<laughs> Hello, George here. I, I'm going to talk to you about a series I saw recently, which is so amazing. It's Bride's Head Revisited. I, vis I saw the 1981 version, and it's available on YouTube, and I will uh, post a link to the playlist below. It's an amazing series. When I was in um, England, in boarding school, I did watch this when I was in... Uh, uh, studying for my O levels, so I must have been in what, what basically uh, high school equivalent, and I saw this on television. <clears throat> it was showing on Granada uh, television. It's an adaptation of a novel from Evelyn Waugh, and uh, done for British television. At the time when I saw it, I remember my memories of it. I just saw it as a a nice historical uh, drama, but I rewatched it again. Must be now almost forty years later, right? And I realize it is a deeply Christian film, a deeply Christian series. It's amazing it was even made. Of course, they were very faithful to Evelyn Waugh's book, and I guess there were Christian themes in the book, but it's so inspirational and encouraging how the arcs of each of the characters are transformed by God. Especially the, uh, the characters of the uh, flight uh, family um, who reside at Bride's Head, which is the, um, the name of their mansion. I don't want to give away too many uh, plot points, but it's, it's excellent. It's also... Um, for its time, it, uh, I, I guess it, the the uh, two two of the main uh, pr protagonist characters are homosexual, but within the context, uh, they're really showing how their um, sexual orientation doesn't really is trans is somehow is still kind of transformed. Each of them, from their own uh, perspectives, going. Uh, and reaching the ark, so I, w I won't give it away, but you know, God does love us all, and He reaches out to us where we are. But but don't be worried about this. This is not an overtly Christian film. It's actually a, a Christian film of the Catholic uh, variety, uh, and and it has deep spiritual content. However, it is not at your face. Um, it, it's, the spiritual content is. Um, a, a, uh, is to be seen and read, but the characters in the story in themselves are so delightful. They 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 um, have their own interests and quirks, and it's an eleven uh, it's no over eleven hours. It's an eleven part series, and each series is like a film, and so it's a very long one. But it's well worth the time. Um, actually, I just watched it and I just finished it over the course of a few days. And I really feel like watching it again. It's that good. So uh, I hope you, as you watch the the movie, uh, the, the the series, I hope you notice the, uh, the the Christian themes that are present and shown, and the amazing way how God has worked in the lives of some of the characters to reach. Um, a beautiful end, especially for those of you who may be Catholic, who may be praying hard for some of your team members, for from the team members, but <laughs> also for both managers praying for their team members, <laughs> um, for praying for their families. This is a, a great encouragement to you all. Highly recommended, Bride's Head Revis Revisited. 1981 version. I don't really know. I haven't seen the. There's a more recent remake. I don't really trust that. I haven't seen it. But I, I don't. I wouldn't trust that. Uh, they don't make series like they used to. A beautiful historical film, and with Christian themes, especially a deeply, deeply Catholic TV series. It's George signing off.